Welcome back, I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'm gonna to share with you how we've organized and set up our boys' room. If you're new here, my name is Shannon. I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button to join my channel and let's get started. Our two boys share a room. Currently we have a almost three-year-old and a five-year-old and the two of them are still really loving the fact that they can share a room and it's working out perfectly because we can store all of the toys in this room and everything they need can fit into one bedroom which makes it really easy for me when I'm tidying up the house and organizing everything and also when I'm trying to find stuff because I know it's all in one bedroom and I'm not having to run from bedroom to bedroom and closet to closet and I know as they get older they're probably gonna want their own rooms which is completely fine, but for now, I'm loving the fact that they're happy to share a bedroom. What I love most about this bedroom is the fact that there are two windows that let a ton of light in. So this is how we have it set up. We have the two beds, Calvin's bed and Emmett's bed, and there's the window. We've added curtains just so we can block out all the light. One of our really good friends gifted this map of the world and also a map of the United States and she explained that it's just really good to have these maps in your children's room. That way they can learn and get an idea of um, where everything is in the world and I completely agree. So I just went and got a really cheap frame for these. I wanted to hang them low so my boys could actually get up and see where everything is. The one thing we really needed before Emmett started school was a dresser. So I was searching every day on Facebook Marketplace and um, all the secondhand offer up, all those type of apps because I really wanted to find something secondhand. And the day before he started school, we found this dresser and it only cost $125, which is a really good deal for where we live. Um, it's over half the price of the same dresser if we were to buy it brand new. And I was so excited because I was able to organize all of their clothes before he actually started school. So now it's really easy for him to just wake up, get dressed, and get ready for school. It was important for me to have three drawers for each boy. And this top drawer is just underwear and socks. And then in here I have Emmett's shirts. And in here I have shorts, but of course um, we need to do laundry. <laughs> This is Calvin's side and we have shirts and down here we have shorts. On top of the dresser we have a basket of hats and sunglasses for the boys because it's still summertime really. Then we have a new photo that we just took with their Nana that was here and of course a lamp because there's no lighting in this room. And then I like to keep this globe here. This was my grandpa's globe. And every night we actually take this globe over to the boys and we talk about where everything is located in the world. I've had a few questions of where we keep the boys art and this is where I've hung some of Emmett's watercolors that he did a while back. And I think it's fun just to frame up their art and put it in their room so we can all enjoy it. This is how I have the boys' closet organized right now. So most of their items are in the drawers. The only thing I hang up is uh, we do have costumes and they're not just for Halloween. The boys like to dress up and play dress up and run around and have fun. So I hang those. I also hang their dressier shirts that they don't wear as often. And I hang their sweatshirts right now since it is summer and when it goes to fall and winter I will probably put their sweatshirts down in their drawers only because then they can get them really easily um, especially my three-year-old cannot reach up there right now so because they're not needed I have them hanging uh, then I have a dirty laundry basket right here and they share that so all the dirty clothes go in there I've recently hung a set of hooks here so Emmett has a place to hang his backpack when he gets home, what we're doing is he's emptying out his backpack if he has any papers for me or homework or things that I need to see. And then he comes and hangs his backpack up so he's ready in the morning just to grab his backpack. And this little bin down here is where we store their shoes. And I just find a bin they can throw their shoes in is the easiest option. And it's the most likely way they're actually going to put something away. 
This is a shelf from Ikea that we have had for years and years and we've used it for so many different things. But the four boxes right here are their toys. In this top one, we have trains that they can set up. They really love that. Down here, I have Duplo Lego. So this is the bigger Lego that the boys love to play with. It's more for Calvin at this point, but Emmett also still loves it and he's five. Then in here is where we keep all of the random toys. This is where you find action figures and random things like that. Down here is our book collection. We do go to the library, but I like to have books here, especially because Emmett is now learning how to read. This is where I'm storing items that we don't use all of the time, but we are going to be using quite soon. So here we have bags in case they go to grandma's house or you know a day to the park or something like that. They have their little bags that they can fill up with whatever they might need. Here we have all of our swim stuff, so I don't really want them thinking that they can wear swim clothes to school, so I put them up here. Then in this one, I have fall pants and winter pants, and I just think it's easier to have them accessible in case there is a cool night. And then in here, I have bigger jackets and sweaters, and again, fall is on the way, so uh, it's good to just have these in case there is a cool night. This is a fire station that Grant made the boys, and look, it's well played with, and they store their fire truck and their ambulance in there, and that's just a really fun thing for them to play with. And the only other toys they have in this room are Lego and cars, and I'm storing that under their bed right now. The nice thing about this is Emmett can pull these out whenever he wants to play Lego, and he can easily put everything back in there and just push it back in and put it away. This is how we have organized our boys' room and how we have set it up. It's working for us really, really well. This amount of items is working for us. They're happy and I'm happy. I feel that they have enough to keep them busy and happy and enough items to play with, but at the same time, it's not uh, too many items where I'm having to just constantly organize and find places for things. So what I do like to do is every single season, I go through all of their items, make sure all their toys are things that they still love, that they still wanna play with. I also always go through their clothes every season to make sure they're still fitting. And anything that isn't working for us, we normally donate. Um, or find a friend that we can hand the items down to. We just moved into this house a few months ago, so of course this room is going to be evolving as the boys grow up and as we get more settled. If you'd like to see the home tour of our condo that we used to live in, make sure you click right here. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you would hit the subscribe button to join our Simple Living community, and I'll see you next time. Bye.